Gabrielle Butterfield here with the Muskegon Channel. Today I'm talking with Brian and uh, one of his students, Levi, here at the Career Tech Center and uh, we're on location. Hi Brian, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. So, Levi, is this your first year working on the house or is it your second year? This is my second year. So you're a senior. Yep. And what school do you go to? Whitehall. Whitehall. And can you tell me why you chose this program to work on the house? Um. Well, I plan on going into construction after high school and uh, it's just one of the things I've grown up around and seems fun. So, <laughs> so what, what kind of things do you do on the house? Um, what well, have you had your hand in? Uh, pretty much everything from the forms up to roofing and it's just, it's all fun. What's so. your favorite part? Uh, probably framing. The framing? Yeah. It's the least messy, I yeah. find. <laughs> Very <laughs> least messy. Yes. I mean, we just got done building our house, and let me tell you, everything else is a pain. Mm -hmm. But the framing, is it seems like it goes up really fast. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me about the program? How yeah. many years have you guys been in, in our neighborhood here? Well, we started in 07 with a greenhouse down the way there. and um, Or I'm sorry, the brown house down the way. And, My neighbor. Yes, your neighbor, <laughs> Aunt Randy. And... Um, the school wanted to, we used to build habitat homes mm -hmm. in the city and they wanted to get away from that a little bit and start doing some more uh, spec homes. And so we, 07 was our first house and it took about a year to sell it, but then we built the green one next to it. And uh, then it really took off and um, we eliminated the habitat program. Okay. And we brought, we had two, actually two classes. One was building the spec homes and one was building habitat. We combined them and now we've, you know, we've done eight or nine already in here. And this we, is actually your 10th home. It's our 10th home. Okay, well, yeah. The I've time done my flies. homework. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is our, then it's our 10th, and we still have, I want to say we still have over 20 lots yet in the subdivision. I know. So. Um, here in the community, I can tell you, we are so, so thankful that you guys are building this up and building our community the way you are. Yeah. Well, it's 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 been a lot of fun. Um, I know the neighbors are really taking care of, you know, our properties out mm -hmm. here, and um, it's, it's it's nice because the township wants this area built up too so mm -hmm. we kind of you know help them out helps us out our school has been a great supporter of letting us you know we have to stay within budget but you know building these nice homes and for this community so and you are nice. with the Muskegon ISD is the one that helps run the career tech yes center? yep they are our I guess for lack of better terms our our overseers the tech center is a part of the ISD and um, yeah so it's 07 so 10 years and hopefully another 20 more to go right so um but I, back to what you're asking about the program we have 16 schools okay that um bring their kids here all the way from montague um down to fruitport so all of muskegon county um as far out as ravana and holton too so um yeah, we service all those districts every district in the county and what kind of stuff are we going to be able to see in this home this actually is going to be a school yes. instead of a home for sale this year. Correct. Um, we've been built. We've been working and teaching out of two 11 by 56 construction trailers for the last 10 years. In the winter, it's got to be so hard it's, to get them in there. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's hard to get them out. <laughs> the kids out sometimes uh, in the winter time. But um, this house here is 27. It's about 2,700 square foot, and it will be the the garage will be our locker room. The main. Um, Living room area will be our classroom. We'll have a full kitchen, actual bathrooms instead of Porta Johns. Um, the basement is, it, it won't be finished, but it'll be more of a lab area where we can put saws and okay. and teach kids some hands on things instead of bringing them outside when the weather's. When it's raining. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to keep it hopefully for about five or six years and uh, build another one down the road and do the same thing again. So, can you tell me your opinion on being able to work hands on? firsthand in an actual house um, on site as opposed to working out of a trailer? Well, uh, it definitely helps with the learning part of it. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier to kind of get a grasp of what you're doing and uh, like different things. So it's, it's a lot nicer than being in a classroom. Right? Being able to get out, not doing so many books. Right? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, having you know, kids go to school in, in a house that they actually built. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not finishing the entire thing. Some of the rooms are, uh, we don't have a drywall. We just have exposed plumbing and electrical. So they can, so they see. can see what it looks like, you know, while we're doing it. Or before we do it, so they have an idea what it's gonna look like at the end. 
Um, and we have, we'll have one entire, the master suite from the bedroom, the bathroom, and the, the closet will be entirely finished. So that'll be our model area so we can okay. show the kids this what it This is what it looks like, like when you're when done. done. Yep. Um, but everything else is, we, our IT people came in and wired it. Um, we'll, so we'll have a big screen TV we can teach off of. Laptops, finally. We've, we haven't had a chance to have laptops because we don't have the connection capacity in the right. trailer. So each kid will get a Chromebook. So, so we can what do does this, this house mean to you guys as, as the tech center, as part of this community? Um, this house, um, it's, it's very unique. I, I, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty positive we're probably the only classroom tech or uh, construction trades class that'll be in a house as their classroom. I mean, right now we're one of few that are actually out on a job site where we, the kids go every day and we can go right to the house. A lot of schools still meet at their tech center and bust the kids out to build for the day, but we're on site already. And just to be on site and have this lab is what we're going to call it. I mean, at our disposal, anything that we have a question on or the kids do, we can take them right to that area of the house and say, this is how you do it. And uh, it means a lot to me because we're going to be warm in the winter cool in the summer there you go. um so and what do you what's your opinion on it how how do you feel about being able to be hands-on and see physically see what you're doing as opposed to just reading out of a book um it's definitely nice because you know you don't have to spend all your time in the classroom you actually get to be outside and working with all the different stuff for it <laughs> <laughs> The hands-on is what yeah. um, attracts the kids to this program. Um, we do do book work. I don't want him to act yeah. like we don't do any book work, but we do. And it's, it's geared towards more the beginning of the year because every, we treat everybody like they've never done this before. So we got to learn, you know, right from measuring to using the saws, terminology, things like that, the tools. Um, but as the year progresses, we kind of eliminate more of the in the classroom work and then just strictly stay hands-on. and. Plus we have a deadline we have to finish before school's out, so. Yeah, there you go. And you have a morning and afternoon mm -hmm. classes have, that come in here? Yep, morning is from 8.05 to 10.35 and our afternoon is 11.45 to 2.15. And they're two separate. Is that um, how you guys separated when you combined the habitat in? No, but the, the, the sessions ran the same, but we just, our goal was to have all the first year students do habitat and okay. have our second years come out and build a spec home you know, more in-depth um, learning and more, uh, the skills were a little bit higher than the Habitat home. Um, but then when we combined, we just, our, our numbers weren't that great to have two separate programs. So when we combined, we have a good number of kids, 20, 25 a, a class. So it's a lot of kids, and but it's since this is your 10th home, mm -hmm. I know that you have one whole side of the street almost dominated. Yes. And what what's your what's your goals for this community? What are you hoping uh, to see here in the next couple of years? I'm hoping to see when these guys all graduate and bring their significant others or their family for a road trip somewhere, they can drive down Chestnut and say, you know, our class built every single one of these homes, which we will have except for the blue house down the way. And we have there's a yellow house that was here, your first mm -hmm. original house. So, um, you know, it's while well, they don't always say it i know they take a lot of pride in it so i know when they drive by we have kids come back all the time ex-students and say i remember when we were in that yellow house and so and so did this or this happened you know so uh, we've had kids come through here well adults now mm -hmm. come through and be like oh hey i i built a house right next to you That's right yeah so it's it's really a cool thing and you know I, I don't expect all these guys to go out and be contractors or their own businesses but you know the things they learn here if they can save themselves some money down the road with their own home repair or flipping a house down the road, you know, that, that'd be great. I like that. So this is not the only thing that we've done with uh, Muskegon ISD. We've done many things with them and we're hoping to work really close with you guys again in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Gabrielle Butterfield signing off for the Muskegon channel.